guys this is my Royal Enfield Meteor 350 and what happened was a few months ago I broke one of its side lights also known as uh, indicators in the US okay and uh, my bike fell on the ground from its parking position unfortunately I wasn't on the bike so just just the bike fell down so uh, if you look here like you can see I have taped, I have taped around this indicator to make it work. It, it works right now. But today I want to replace this and I got a new one from Nepal and I'm, I'm working to replace this new one from Nepal, okay? The first tool you need is a plus screwdriver. And that is because you have to open the headlight cover of the motorcycle, okay? And the reason of opening the headlight cover is that the uh, indicator has an electric wire that, that needs to be released. Okay, and that's how you can take the side light off. So use a plus screwdriver and unscrew these two little uh, nuts, okay, uh, little screws. I'm working hard to uh, release, unscrew them. Also, I always keep all the screw nuts uh, in a box so that I don't lose them later on, okay? I always keep them in a box. Remember uh, one of the important things here. There is a letter RE written on this uh, on headlight cover on the glass, okay? Now that has to uh, face like a regular writing style when you put it back. Don't make it upside down. The, the letter R and E, R, E, 9, I think that means Royal Enfield 9. Uh, it should be the indication of what type of cover is that, the, the glass type and all. So when you take it off and then later on when you put it back, that should not be upside down. Otherwise, uh, you messed it up. The light flow will be different, okay? So just try to remember that letter R E nine uh, scripted on your on your glass. So once you take the headlight lead off uh, like this, uh, there is another layer of plastic cover inside. If you look closely, there is another layer which is binded by two screws over there, one two, and you have to un unscrew these two uh, screws too, because that helps you to reach inside. Uh, so that you can easily open the big lug nuts or big nuts that holds the side light, okay? Another reason is uh, there is a wire or a cable that needs to be released uh, so that the side light can come off, okay? So taking that cover, this cover helps a lot on your work progress. And that is the reason uh, we have to take this small plastic cover out. Okay, leaving the plastic cover ajar makes your life easier. You can easily hold the nut from inside and use an Allen key <coughs> and a ratchet to uh, unscrew open this. I'm using an Allen key from outside. Uh, I put Allen key over there. And then this is my Allen key. And this will uh, be attached to a ratchet. And then uh, I open it, okay? And there is another knot behind this knot. That is the final knot that you have to open, okay? And remember that green yellow uh, connector, wire connector, that has to be released. That's the only one that needs to be released to change a side light because that, that is connected to your side light. In fact, that is a side light, you know? That's where the bulb is attached. So you just clip it and then on, on, on I mean, uh, release it. Uh, and then there's a, this is the final nut that needs to be unscrewed. And that after that, it's plain simple. You just put everything back. You just reverse whatever you, you are doing right now. That's all, okay? Let me do it. Doing right now, that's all, okay? Let me do it. So I'm using a number 13 mm uh, wrench. And this is the final knot that I'm uh, releasing. I'm on the screen. Uh, that's all you need to do. Once this comes off, the side light will come off. And 
everything will be easier. You just put the things back. That's all. Now this is my brand new side light or indicator that I got from Nepal for 700 rupees, less than $10. So what I'm doing now is putting everything back to, uh, to reverse. Uh, I'm trying to do the reverse mode. Uh, you see that little green connector hanging that goes inside uh, where the other part of the green uh, connector is. It's very user friendly, man. It just you just click them uh, or unclick them. You know.